Hi, thank you for joining. On the demo today, we will see uh, the Run AI platform and how it can dynamically allocate GPUs to researchers. And by that, increase the productivity of the researchers as well as improve the GPU utilization. So what we can see on the screen now is a cluster with two nodes and a total of four GPUs. And I currently have one out of the four GPUs allocated. It's allocated to a job. I can see I have one job running here. It's called job one. It's a trained job. So it's training some deep learning model uh, and it's allocated one GPU and it's fully utilizing this GPU at the moment. And thus I see that the total GPU utilization in the cluster is around 25% because we're using one out of the four GPUs. Now you can also see that this job is associated with something called a project in Run AI. So we'll go and see what a project is and then we'll go and run some jobs together and you'll see how uh, the platform and how the scheduler works in action. So I'll go to the menu here to the projects view and you can see I have two projects here, uh, team A and team B. And you can think of a project uh, either as an individual researcher or as a team of researchers where each project gets a guaranteed quota of GPUs. So this number is not a static quota. It's not a hard quota. Um, what it means, it means that if team A has a guaranteed quota of two GPUs, it means that whenever team A asks for two GPUs, the system will always make sure that they get two GPUs. However, we will also allow team A to go over quota and use more than two GPUs whenever there are free GPUs in the cluster. So for example, if team B are not currently using their GPUs, team A would be able to automatically uh, allocate all the four GPUs in the cluster, uh, run more experiments and become more productive. And this will of course increase the GPU utilization. So let's go back to the overview and go in and run some jobs. Uh, to run jobs, I can quickly switch to the, the researcher UI and click on submit. And we can go and submit a job. So I can call this new job, job two. I can choose an image that I would like to use for this job. So as we are running on top of Kubernetes, every job will run as a container. And this image, quick start, is an image that we built for demos that contains my data science framework, uh, which is TensorFlow in this case, as well as uh, some packages and even my model code and my data. I can then choose how many GPUs I would like to allocate to my job. Let's say I want two GPUs and I can choose the project that my job will run for. Let's run this job for team B. So I can click on the submit button. And what will happen now is that job uh, two will start running. Uh, for team B, it will uh, run as a container, allocate two GPUs to this container and will start training my model on these two GPUs. Uh, now, we still have one free GPU in the cluster as team A only asked for one. So what I can do is go and run another job. And let's call this job, uh, job three. And I'll use the same image for this example. And I'll ask for one GPU this time again for team B. And you'll see that... Uh, what will happen now is that first we see that job two has already started, right? Using two GPUs for team B. And in a few seconds, we'll see that uh, the system will allow team B to go over quota and use more than two GPUs um, and run an additional experiment. So we will allow team B to run another job, right? Job three. Um, and use another GPU going over their quota. They'll use three GPUs in this case. Um, and this will result in full utilization of the GPUs in the cluster. So we will now use all of the four GPUs uh, and team B uh, are now using three GPUs, while team A are using one. So this obviously makes the team more productive as well as increase the, the GPU utilization in the cluster. Now, what happens uh, if suddenly team A wants to uh, use another GPU, we did guarantee that whenever they ask for two GPUs, they should get them, right? So let's go and see what happens when they do that. I can go and submit another job and let's call this job, job four and use the same image and ask for one GPU this time, uh, but now for team A. And once I click on submit now, 
you'll see that our system will become smarter. It will automatically preempt one of the jobs of team B that went over quota and instead uh, free up a GPU and allow uh, the new job of team A, job four, to run instead. Now this can take a minute, so until it does, we can go to the analytics view. And this um, is a great view for admins that gives them a lot of visibility of what's happening in their cluster for any given time. So you can see I can filter this for any time range. We can look at the last five minutes, for example, while the demo is running. And we can see the total GPU allocation compared to the utilization across all GPUs in the cluster. I can also see the GPU memory utilization, the CPU, as well as the RAM memory, and even a breakdown of how each of the teams or each of the researchers are utilizing their GPUs. I can also see you know, the, the GPU allocation per project, the utilization per project, as well as other very useful dashboards. So if I go back to the overview now, I'll see that the preemption was completed and now uh, both teams are fairly using two GPUs uh, in the cluster. So job three of team B that went over quota was automatically preempted. It was sent back to the queue and job four for team A was able to run instead, um, which resulted in uh, each of the teams using two GPUs. Uh, this job, job three, uh, just to note, is not just uh, terminated. It's, um, it's waiting in the queue. Um, and it will just resume automatically from the last point that it stopped whenever uh, one of these jobs will be completed and we will have a free GPU again. 